Uh, greetings, ladies and germs. Elton McFall here. We just started recording and realized at the same time, do I have this camera on the right setting? Well, I don't know, but whatever. I'm not going to think too much out of it because it's like fucking minus 26 with the friggin' windshield factor and therefore minus 16 degrees. So, since I haven't filmed a fucking beautiful sunny walking video in over a week because it's been so shite every fucking day and cloudy, I figured, uh, why not do it now? I'm not going to zoom too much right now because I just got out five minutes ago from my place and I once broke the fucking zoom on this camera when I got out, when I got out of a 23 degree uh, Celsius uh, train ride and uh, going into the double digit negative like minus 23 fuck it, uh, when I got out of the train and uh, broke the fucking zoom. Alright, cold start. I'm trying to do that fucking Fucking classic Chrysler electronic uh, ignition there. They, just, they always had a certain sound. That's what I love about just a, that's what a car guy is. A car guy, especially old car guys like me, even though I don't have one because I'm visual, visually impaired. Even the sound of the starter is different from a Chrysler product, from a Ford product, and a GM product. And then today they all fucking sound the same practically. Who gives a shit? Yeah. <laughs> I can't even tell you that these fucking more modern cars, the exception of that van and that whatever uh, S15, they're not even ornamental. They're just utilitarian. That's it. That's all. Point final. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I was uh, I wanted to do this earlier, but uh, hey, that guy looks like uh, Jack, Jack from New Hampshire. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Jack, I don't know if you saw that. That guy looked like you totally, buddy. Anyway, what the hell was I really talking about? Uh, ah, I lost my train of thought. These freaking rows of houses here. Houses, apartment buildings, whatever. I don't know where they remind me of, but it's definitely European, that's for sure. Definitely French architecture. One of the reasons why I moved down here in Oshelaga sector six years ago. Aside from all the old cars, of course. Okay, I rattled off and distracted myself as usual. What the hell was I talking about? Right, so I, I wanted to do this video because uh, it's been over a week since I filmed a nice walking video in the sunlight. Not really in the sunlight, but like I said, I was busy working today and I had to go out and buy a couple of vintage frames there. Wow, look at that. Personalized plate that says casual. So I guess the guy, he broaches his fucking Cadillac. He's not wearing a tie and uh, dress shirt, eh? Anyway, uh... Yeah, personalized plates actually only came out last year here in Quebec. Quebec! Oh, yeah, I found a couple of frames for my guy there. We're framing, busy framing all this vintage car ads there. It's a lot. Oh, look at this beautiful Mustang here. Smutstang. Yeah, beautiful deep blue there. Very nice convertible. That's actually the second one I've seen in three blocks. Go figure. La rue Provo, tabarnak. C'est pas une rue, ça là, ça commence une alley. How do they determine this crap? You know? Like, really? Come on. What do you mean it's a fucking street? It's an alleyway. Oh, anyway. Why bother? I'm just going to stifle myself. Stifle. As I figured, I'd walk around here. Do this walking video. Go uh, film uh, up until uh, that's St. Catherine Street there. St. Catherine Street over there. Figured, like I said, I'll go... Uh, Film a walk up and over uh, St. Catherine Street uh, CP train overpass, but the thing is that it's windy down there, so I'm not sure that's gonna come out too. You won't be able to hear what I'm saying, but whatever. Fuck. So what? It's beautiful. Camera, I got two fresh batteries. Fuck it. So what if it's minus 26, 27 with the windshield factor? Fuck it. It's beautiful. It, I need it. I need more, more than the plant me. I need the sunlight. It's another reason why I couldn't do it in fucking jail. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, kill me now, as, as we say. I mean, man, I couldn't hack it. Fucking eight by four cell or whatever the fuck it is. Living like fucking animals. Animals. This ain't old, eh? That ain't working. Money is for nothing and the chicks for free. That ain't working. The little faggot got his own jet plane. The little faggot is a millionaire. We've got some beef, some microwave oven. Custom kitchen and delivery. We got some movies, refrigerators, 
We got some movies, colored TVs. I was actually going to turn the camera and show myself, but I'm wearing these thick gloves, and uh, it's such a small, compact camera that, like, fuck, I don't even feel like taking the chance right now. I'm more concentrating on not fucking slipping on ice here and breaking my fucking neck, you know? There used to be an ad here. Yeah, that is a classic song from Dire Straits in 1985. Look at that beautiful building here. Look at the awesome original detail on that roof work. And of course, there's a caribou up there, and I think that's going to be my fucking thumbnail for this video. Oh, yeah, and down there, Port of Montreal. Also, Notre Dame Street, which you can't really see too well. Sort of see cars going by. And like I said, this is St. Catherine Street. La Rue St. Catherine, St. Cat. And we're uh, walking westwardly. If you had guessed that, you are correct. And I will not pay attention to any homeless or drug addict or fucking hookers, especially in this area. Fucking pain in the ass. All right, all right. I don't do drugs, I just smoke weed. Quote from Dave Chappelle. Great movie was then called Half Baked. It's amazing how different you feel when it's a bright sun, even if you're in your home. Even in my place, which is fucking dark, it makes a difference. I'm so damn tired. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even telling you the fucking streets, am I? Oh well. Uh, moto. Filmed a few walks on that one. That's an incinerator over here. This building. Yeah. I gotta stop this a second and tuck in my shirt. That ain't working. You play your guitar on your MTV. Yeah, man. Of course, I think Dire Straits is the greatest hits of all time. If you're, you're probably thinking the same thing as me. Of course, is we are the Sultans. We are the Sultans of Swing. I've even seen a couple of videos with some fucking badass street artists, guitar players out there. One of the guys, I think it was in Brazil. Un fucking believable. I mean, the quality of it all. Definitely one of the greatest rock songs ever made. Hey, speaking of rock and roll from the 90s. Yeah, baby, that's good timing. I'm talking about old school music and this fucking circa, I don't know, whatever, 89 to, or 90 to fucking 94 Chevrolet. CK goes by, Silverado, rusted with primer, but two-tone blue and silver. Or gray. You think they got enough fucking lights on cars today? Jesus Christ, why don't I just put on fucking like twice as many fog lights, for fuck's sake? One of the many things that irks me today. And of course, this compound is always more difficult because it's fucking winter. Winter shite, shittiest fucking time of the year. Look at that, you can see uh, part of a cargo ship over there. I'm actually kind of hoping that I can time this where I get fed up of filming and or have enough content in this video and therefore I could like just jump on the fucking uh, 34 bus, which is probably scrap, but the other day I took the scrap and the other one that went by this way, going east, was not scrap, which is rare. Yeah, Alphonse de Roi. I don't like street names that are too long. Am I the only one? I think it just makes it hard. Eh? Oh my god, seriously. They pretty much maxed out all that land. Eh? I'm not a big fan of billboards. Which is funny because I sell ads. I sell vintage ads, you know? That's the funny thing about that. We got some chicks on microwave ovens. Our custom kitchen and delivery. We got some movies, refrigerators. We got some movies, color TVs. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, last night I was in my bed lying down and I was watching a, a video. Uh, it was fucking Dean Martin drunk off his ass at some show. It was hilarious. I laughed and then I had this coughing fit for like I think 10 minutes. Almost seemed non stop. Kind of worried me, kind of scared me actually. But I'm alright now. Eh, it's funny though because. Looking at Dean Martin drunk on TV from 1964 with his fucking his glass of scotch, I think. Reminded me of my old man and my grandfather. And they like to drink. 
my grandfather, he lived a long fucking time. He lived until he was... My grandfather, my father's father, Faza Mervyn McFall, fucking lived until, uh... God damn, it was 92, 93. And now, can you imagine? Do you ever stop and imagine that? Especially younger guys. I'm never gonna fucking live that long. I figure I'll die from a heart attack, probably, or cancer. No, no, cancer, actually. Cancer, yeah. It's not the skin's cancer, some kind of cancer. You know? Oh, here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. And I say, it's alright. Little darling, it's been a long and lonely winter. A little darling. What's that over there? What is, is that a cargo ship? What is that? It looks like a cruise ship. Okay. What is this? Oh, that's part of that cargo ship. Oh. Once again, my eyes are playing tricks on me. Here comes the sun. Montreal Public Works Garage right here. And over the tracks is the same thing, but different trucks. Ah, ah, ah. Sun, 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 sunny day. Let the gentleman go by, isn't it? A little darling, it's been a long and lonely winter. A little darling. Yeah, I actually saw a video that uh, it was George Harrison who was over at, uh, let me see, who was it again? Eric Clapton's place, I think. And, uh, I don't know, whatever, fucking Beverly Hills or somewhere in Sussex, I don't know. And uh, was, I think originally Eric Clapton wrote that song. And it was just like a beautiful summer day and they were having some suds, I guess. Maybe they dropped acid, probably. And yeah, that's how they... Uh, Backward walking man. There's my shadow over there. I admit it's fucking freezing now. It'd be great if a train went by here though. Like, you know? And actually, I can't make that out too well. I should zoom into that again. This tough little camera, man. I love it. What the fuck? Oh yes, the roof of that building. I thought it was the water. That's why I was zooming in again. I couldn't tell. Like I said, you know, the uh, you're visually impaired. Your eyes got a weird freaking idea. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's okay. I can't stay here. Too cold, too cold. We're going to keep moving. Keep rocking and rolling. Keep moving west. West or fucking southwest, I figure. I reckon. right here. I know there's a train that leaves it, but it leaves the Port of Montreal there at about 7 o'clock. I pretty know, I'm, I pretty much know the timetable, you know. So I've been living here fucking six years, I should. But I hear a train down there. Probably a shunter job. Or maybe it's not, maybe it's something else. Oh! Sewer sucker. Emptying its goods. Yeah. Exciting stuff. I was like, yeah, it's a tree. What am I talking about? Right. I don't like taking public transit at this time, though, let me tell you, because right now it's like four something, and oh man, I mean, fucking metros are all packed, so definitely not, uh, definitely not gonna go to, uh, let's say, take the orange line towards Laval. I mean, Momo, I see, that's the worst, just jam packed. I do love the smooth ride of those nice horse trains. Yeah, here it's really bad. I'm gonna stop this video in a bit here. Because I'm definitely not fucking doing the camera any favors, that's for sure. Oh, wait, I want to go back and show part of that yard though. There's like snow blowers and shit there, I think. Did I mention again that step down there is Boulevard Notre Dame? That's where I go film a lot of my trucking there videos. You can see one right there. You know. Okay, we can cross here. Nope. Downtown, you can see part of downtown over there. Well, part of it anyway. Fuck, brutal. Brutal!
right. Oh, I gotta stop here so I can take a picture from my friend who loves garbage trucks. Yeah, they only built this like, what, three years ago? It wasn't even long ago. Yeah. That truck is probably fucking broken. That's why it's parked there and covered in snow, I would imagine, anyway. Well, I guess I was wrong. I don't know why I thought I'd see those snowblower. Snowblowers there because they're all out in use or being repaired anyway. So those are the type of machinery that break easily, unfortunately. Yeah. Biking when it's minus 16. Yeah, I don't understand it. I don't get it. Well, I guess I'm going to go to Frontenac Metro because that's the closest metro to here right now. And, uh,. But I don't know. I guess that's what I'm doing. It's just too cold to be out a long time. Even though I got the long johns, the coat on, the heavy gloves, and la la la. La 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 la! Yeah. Teb, Teb, Teb Transport. That doesn't sound like the coolest thing. Sounds like Ted. Would it be like Bob, like Bear, like Blueberry Hill? It'll linger until, until. <laughs> Good old Fats fucking Domino, eh? The wind and the willow trees are. Hello, sweet melody. And actually, you know what? Speaking of Dean Martin, I think I sound more like Dean Martin than anything else, eh? Seriously? Here, listen, listen. I'll sing one of my one of the songs I like from him from 1954, which I think was his first date anyway. And it goes something like this. <clears throat> Everybody loves somebody sometimes. Everybody needs somebody sometimes. Someone left the cake out in the rain, and now it's ruined. <laughs> Next show at 10.30. I love the sun, even that lady, she was smiling, because the sun is infectious. I don't care if it's fucking minus 20. It's not like the winds that get clicking at 60 or 50 right now. I mean, look, I got some trucking. Would have been a fool not to go enjoy this remaining sun today. I did go out, like I said earlier, to go... Uh, did a second hand store to find some frames there for my customer, but I didn't, uh, I didn't film anything. Oh, fuck. And would you believe I was in the Village de Valeur, which by the way is French for your American counterpart called Savers. But, uh, yeah, I'm there and I'm looking through frames or whatever and I hear a fucking siren. I'm like, are you kidding me? And then I missed something else. I think an ambulance. And then I think I missed the, uh, the technical paramedic support or whatever, you know. What's that smell? Please hold. Oh. I had to put my glove back on. I had to take it off to adjust my uh, t-shirt that's too short there. And uh, it's like basically I've got a fucking uh, goddamn gut. You know, I'm still skinny, but now it's skinny fat. I had a friend who used to say that. It was, uh, I thought, a funny term, really. It's not how hot funny, but anyway. Uh, so, uh, oh God, I talk too much, eh? Jeez, you think? I figured I'll cut across over here. We'll have a little look at the uh, Frontenac garage there, exterior. And then I'll uh, walk up there on Frontenac to the metro, and then uh, that's it, that's all. You know what I'm saying? Or I could take the next 34, which the stop is right here. I don't have a schedule, though. Maybe this is long enough, you know? Oh, yeah, actually, you know what? I might finish this here. Look at this fucking beautiful. There's another amazing building built at the same time as the other one you saw. These types of roofing, they're probably from the 1800s. Easily over 100 years old. Don't tell me that's a fucking 34 over there sitting at the light. That's not scrap. I bet you it is. Unreal. I don't have any luck with this. This fucking, this fucking line. Son of a whore. Jesus. Pute. 
Okay, so, uh, oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention something important. Is that, where I am right now, after having crossed that bridge, I'm pretty sure this is no longer Hochelaga, actually. This is now the Ville Marie Borough, which is where downtown Montreal is part of, which is down that way. So, yeah, and there's no schedule at that bus stop over there, so I think I'm just going to hoof it and uh, probably, like, like I said, likely avoid taking the scrap. You know. Oh, God, it is the St. The St. Catherine Street, isn't it? Ah, Jesus! I've got no luck, man! Oh, well. well, yeah, might as well keep going. Even though my goddamn fingers are cold now, but whatever. It's 15 minutes. It's a long stretch of the metro, but I don't know if we're gonna. I'm gonna film all of it because, like I said, my fingers are uh, not great. But I'm on a roll, baby. I'm on a roll. Let the good times roll. Look at this. Don't tell me this. This alleyway out uh, the street. No, it's called Avenue. Who the fuck thought of this stupid shit? This is like when I was on the fucking 171 yesterday. We turn on uh, on Couverture and it says Prochain arrêt de la Couverture. Listen, if you're a millennial, whatever. I mean, if, you know, I, I, I get it. You know, you don't really give a shit or you think it's neat because when you're younger, you're more into new ideas. But when you're old and things make sense, you generally have an object that they shouldn't be changed. What the hell was wrong with Boulevard fucking Couverture to begin with? I don't know. Just again, the ticket to the city. Doesn't matter if it's fucking Blount or that mayor, that idiot Coderre. Both of them are fucking knobs and they're pissing our money away. Yeah, that's the way it goes today. It's not like when they built the fucking Metro 6 to cost fucking billions of dollars. The Metro was needed, as I was told. The Metro was absolutely needed due to the influx and the growth of the population for the baby boomers and so forth. Let alone all the immigrants moving in from fucking Morocco and uh, whatever, Barbados, anywhere. You know? And now we are at the start and end of uh, Boulevard de Maisonneuve. See, this is the end of it and the start of it, and this is looking west. And I don't know, actually, I'm still thinking to see if I can jump on at 34. I don't know if I want to film that. It's windy here, it's cold. No, you know what? I think I'm gonna uh, fuck the phone back. I, I gotta go over the hill, and actually, I'm already cold. My fingers are cold. I think I'm just gonna stop. Stop right here, I've got a front neck. You know? Yeah. Yeah, because uh, that's a long walk over there. It, it doesn't, uh, it, to me, it's one of those places that always seems like it's not that long, but it's fucking long. So, look at that ice. All right, guys, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed this thing. Look, there's a Pontiac G6. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, take care, adios, and uh, keep your stick on the ice. Bye.